I mentioned yesterday, I sample the creeks quarterly just to check to make sure that our storm sewer systems aren't discharging anything bad to the creeks, like uh, oil or um, uh, diesel fuel or any other contaminants. I actually do sampling as well. I sample for like solids and chloride and, and uh, metals um, and coli. So what I do when I typically come out and sample, I kind of look around to see, you know, are there any dead animals, fish, any garbage, any sheen. I check the banks to see how, you know, if everything looks healthy, what's here, um, and I make notes of that. Uh, I make notes of the clarity. Is it turbid? Yesterday it was a lot more murky here because of the rain, the runoff uh, from the big storm. Um, not too bad today. We didn't get much rain overnight. So when I sample, I make sure that I'm sampling upstream of where I'm standing because if I sample downstream and I've mixed up the, the bottom, I'm going to get a lot of silt in there which will be representative of what's flowing down the creek. So I make sure I'm upstream with my sample uh, probe here and go like that, get my sample. And I have my sample bottles that I would pour into for the different parameters. So then I also look to see like, you know, in the banks, is there, yesterday there, or two days ago there was the heavy rain, so it actually had, it cut into the bank a bit, so just seeing that the, where the flow is coming around because of the rocks, it's cutting under there, um, so that might be a concern in the future for uh, bank erosion. Uh, you know, I just look to see, there's some plants here that are underwater, and now is that, are those water plants, or is that just because of the high flow? You can kind of see how high the water was down here after that storm. So, and I write down: Do I see any ducks? Are there, are there waterfowl? Are there birds? Are there, are there fish? Are there you know crayfish or anything like that? So I just know what the what it looks like. Is it a healthy ecosystem? Has it changed since the last time I was here? So I record that down, put it in my report, so that if we ever have an issue and the Ministry of the Environment comes back, we can say no. You know, we monitor it. Um, our results are good, our, our notes are, are showing that there's no issues, so uh, that's about what I do. And then if I have a spill, which happened, today was announced, today, Thursday, <laughs> Tuesday we had a, a, an, an oil spill and I had to make sure that it didn't impact the creek, Cobra Creek, it actually impacted the stormwater pond and I had to collect samples and respond to that and make sure it did not get out of the stormwater pond. So. And I'm still following up on that today, um, just maintaining some of the oil absorbent booms in the pond. Um, and it was, it was, the cleanup was finished yesterday, but uh, I need to go back today to get samples to make sure that there's no contaminants remaining. So that's kind of what I do. Any questions? The one on Tuesday was a transport was delivering uh, goods to Home Depot. They went to back up and went over the curb and got into soft grass. Their oil pan hit the curb punctured a hole in it and all the oil leaked out. Uh, it leaked out when they're actually driving out of there and it hit our, our street. With the heavy rains it went into the storm sewer catch basin, from there it went into the storm water pond. And if we hadn't caught it in time, it would have got to Cobra Creek and out to the lake, which is where we get our drinking water. So that cleanup, we, they, um, the trucking company had to call in a, a cleanup company. And just for the work done yesterday, it's probably going to be about six grand. That's not including the cost of us responding. There was a big spill here, I believe it was 2012, where um, a generator overfilled with diesel and it kept filling because the sensor failed. And it went into their foundation drains and out to the creek, 5,000 liters of diesel. And that one was probably over a million dollars for cleanup. So it can have a big impact for like a small sensor, Jonathan was mentioning yesterday. A small thing that they didn't maintain and it cost them an MOE inspection fines and then the cleanup costs. So uh, another one we had, uh, it was 20, 22,000, it was um, vegetable oil to the creek. Uh, they were doing another cleanup. They were doing a cleanup of the property and they cleaned out the uh, external grease uh, interceptor. They put it in a barrels in a bin that wasn't watertight over top of the catch basin and it went to the creek. And it happens that my office is across from where that creek discharges and, I, and we saw it. So that was $22,000 for that. So it can range from 6,000 to over a million. It's, it's, it's something that can really affect an industry or, you know, 
even a business if it gets out of control.